Well, it's a popular <laughs> operating system for a smartphone in the country, but it could be leaving you vulnerable. Coming up tonight, which phone is attracting a lot of hackers, a lot of viruses these days, and what you can look out for? Maria and I will be right back. I seem to be struck by you. I want to make you move because you're standing still. Web giant Google announcing a major security breach affecting users of its popular Android smartphones. The company says hackers uploaded more than 50 malicious apps to its Android marketplace. Those apps were downloaded to more than a quarter million smartphones, potentially revealing users' personal information. Joining me from our Big Hill studio is Robert Siciliano, who's a McAfee consultant and identity theft expert. And Robert, most of these apps that were infected were free droid apps. How is it easy is it to infect these apps and could this happen again? So the bad guys obviously are getting more and more sophisticated. They're able to access the applications themselves, hack them, re-upload them, and then they, are, they have the capability of actually recording a person's uh, personal identifying information. As the bad guy gets smarter and smarter, you and I are more and more vulnerable. Now Google says that no personal information was taken here, only the way the applications were put onto your phone. How was the situation handled though between Google and its customers? Was it handled in the right way? So Google's doing the best they can. They notified uh, their customers of the breach. Uh, the media obviously got a hold of it. And what Google does is they have it set in their terms and conditions. They can actually go into your phone remotely and they can delete those apps. And that's exactly what they're doing. At this point, uh, it's estimated they've deleted more than 50 different applications from users' phones. And then they'll make them aware via an email that this has occurred. That's incredible. So they're going into the phones. You could be looking at your phone. One minute you have an app, the next minute it's gone. Gone, just like that. Or tablet here, right? Yes. It's so it's happening to all uh, you know, uh, 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 wireless devices, uh, uh, tablets, uh, smartphones that have the Android operating mm. system. And the Android operating system is the world's most popular um, mobile phone operating system on over a third of the phones just in the U.S. alone. Begs the question, what about other iPhones, uh, things like that, uh, smartphones? The iPhone, for instance, so popular. Is it possible this could happen to people who own those phones? With uh, technology, there's no such thing as 100% security. Uh, there have been breaches uh, in regards to apps in the iPhone, and there will continue to be both for the iPhone and uh, the Android operating system, or Android's marketplace. Uh, so really, it's, you know, beware, uh, update your phone's antivirus, uh, engage in, you know, password protecting your phone itself, and make sure that you're not downloading rogue apps from uh, websites other than uh, the Android marketplace mm -hmm. and or um, Apple's app store itself. What if you get an infected app? What if I go home tonight, I look at my phone and I've got one. What do I do then? The best thing to do really if you think that you have a, an infected application, one that's been listed, is to go ahead and delete it. The next best thing is to uh, back up your phone's information and reinstall the operating system. Just flashing the operating system is easy enough to do. Mm -hmm. Either you do it on your own or call up your carrier. They'll instruct you how to do it. That cleans off any malicious software. Some good advice. Always be on the lookout. Robert Siciliano, thanks for joining us. Thank you.